Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs and in this video guys, we will be talking about circles. What is a circle anyway? A circle is a set of points in a plane whose distances to a given point known as center are equal. So let me illustrate it this way. Assuming this is the given point or the center, and there exists a second point here, then of course they have a distance. Now if we add more points, if we add more points in a way that these points have equal distances to the center, then the curve we form is actually known as the circle. Again, it should be or the distances must be equal. Now the length of the line that makes up the circle is known as the circumference of the circle. Let me elaborate that statement. Again, the length of the line that makes up the circle is known as the circumference of the circle. Assuming this is the circle, if you may consider, you may imagine a rubber band. Now, if you may cut that, or if you cut that, then the figure will be like this. This, this, and finally it falls to the ground. Now, the length of that straight line is actually known as the circumference of the circle. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now, the line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference is actually the radius of the circle. Now, remember, all these line segments are equal, and so all of them are known as radii. Okay, a radius of a circle is the, is the distance from the center of a circle to any point on its circumference. In plural form, radius is actually radii. Now, if we extend the radius to the opposite end, then we form a different line segment. Okay, so that there are actually two radii, and that is known as the diameter of the circle. The diameter of a circle divides the circle into two symmetrical parts. Okay, so when we say symmetrical, that means they are the same or equal. So you notice that if this is the diameter of the circle, the upper portion and the lower portion are exactly the same. Diameter is also twice of a radius. Another definition, diameter is also a line segment that passes through the center of the circle and whose endpoints are at the circumference of the circle. Notice that this is a line segment, it passes through the center and the endpoints are exactly at the circumference of the circle. In symbols, D is equal to 2R, or diameter is equal to twice of the radius. All these line segments here are passing through the center of the circle, and the, their endpoints are, are, are on the circumference. So basically, they are known as diameters of the circle. Diameter of a circle is also known as the longest chord of a circle. So if this is the illustration a while ago, then diameter is also a longest chord. Why? What is a chord anyway? A chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circumference of a circle. So basically, what's missing here is it does not require for the chord to pass through the center of the circle. Now, in a special case, if it passes through the center, it becomes a diameter. Okay? So here, if you notice, this is a line, this is a line segment and they are being joined by the two points. And the two points are actually from the circumference of the circle. So that means it satisfies the definition of a chord. So this is a chord. If you compare this into a diameter, so this is, this is a diameter. The only difference is that the diameter is passing through the center. This one is not passing through, but, is this, but it is still a chord because it, it satisfies the definition of a chord. Now, if you, if you also compare the two line segments, the diameter is always the longest among all the other line segments. So, that is the longest chord of the circle. This one is even shorter and even shorter. Now, we have actually the center of the circle. We have the circumference of the circle. We already have the radius. We already know the diameter and we already know a chord. 
Now let's proceed to sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is a fraction of a circle enclosed by an arc and two radii. Now here is a circle and there's a center. This one is a radius, this one is another radius, and this portion of your circle is known as a sector of a circle. This portion as well, the green shaded portion of the circle, is also known as the sector because it also satisfies the definition of a sector of a circle. So basically, we have this sector known as the minor sector and the other one is the major sector. The only difference is we have a minor arc in the minor sector and we have two radii. In the major sector, we have a major arc and two radii. Okay? So if you may... If you may observe the illustration, the blue shaded portion is being enclosed by two radii and a minor arc. That's why it's known as the minor sector. And then this green, green shaded portion is being enclosed by two radii as well and a major arc. So that's why they are both known as sectors of circle. But the only difference is the other one is smaller, the other one is bigger. The smaller one is known as the minor sector, the bigger one is known as the major sector. Now let's proceed to a semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. It is a fraction of a circle enclosed by an arc and a diameter of a circle. Actually, a semicircle is just a special case of a sector of a circle or a special case of a segment of a circle. We will be talking about a segment of a circle after this discussion, after the semicircle. Now we have here a circle. Now, if we have a diameter, the red one, then half of it, is actually, or half of the circle, is actually known as a semicircle. It is still a sector of a circle because remember, a diameter is consists of two radii. So if there are two radii, there is an arc, then therefore, this portion here is actually a sector of a circle, a circle as well. So it just happens that the two radii is forming a horizontal line, which becomes, or of which it becomes a diameter of the circle. So again, a sector of a I mean a semicircle is just also a sector of a circle in a special case in such a way that the two radii are forming a horizontal line or the horizontal line is actually known as the diameter of the circle now we have the segment of a circle a segment of a circle is a fraction of a circle enclosed by an arc and a chord of a circle so if this is a circle and this one is a chord, a chord which is not a diameter, then the blue portion is actually a segment of a circle with a major arc. So that's why it's known as the major segment. The other portion with the green shaded portion has a minor arc and so that is known as a minor segment. Now, if you, may consider, if you may consider a situation of which the chord is the longest chord, or that means the chord is the diameter, then the segment becomes a semicircle. So that's why a semicircle is a special case of a sector of a circle, and at the same time, a special case of a segment of a circle. Now, in what ways? When we say, okay, let's go back to the semicircle. When we say semicircle, it is a special case of a sector of a circle of which the two, the two radii are forming a horizontal line or a horizontal, or a horizontal line segment known as diameter. If we talk about um, if we talk about special case of a segment, then it becomes a semicircle or a segment of a circle becomes a semicircle if and only if the chord is the longest chord. Or that means the chord becomes the diameter. Or the chord is passing through the center of the circle, then it becomes a diameter, and so the segment becomes a semicircle. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.